the British Rail Class 357. If you've ever travelled between London Fenchurch Street and the Essex coast, chances are you've encountered one of these dependable workhorses. But the story of the 357 goes far beyond a routine commuter train. This is a train that helped shape a whole generation of electric multiple units on Britain's railways. Built between 1999 and 2002 by Adtrans, just before the company was taken over by Bombardier, the Class 357 was the very first of the now ubiquitous Electrostar family. That's right, before the Class 375s in Kent, the 377s in Sussex, and the 387 on the Great Western, it was the 357 that set the standard. Constructed at the historic Litchurch Lane Works in Derby, the 357 was designed to replace the ageing slam door trains on the London, Tilbury and South End Railway South End Line, more commonly known as the LTS. A total of 74 four-car sets were delivered, all destined for the newly privatised operator C2C. Now, what made the 357 stand out was their modular design. They shared components with the diesel Turbostar units, making them easy to build, maintain and upgrade. And despite their commuter focus, they weren't sure on comfort. Air conditioning, air suspension, sliding plug doors, CCTV and a spacious bright interior made them a huge leap forward. But it wasn't just about comfort. These units were quick too, capable of 100 miles per hour, though line restrictions often limit them to around 75. Still, that was plenty fast for the short hops between East London and the Essex coast. In 2007, the Class 357 fleet became one of the first in the UK to use regenerative braking. This smart tech captures energy during braking and feeds it back into the system cutting energy use by up to 20%. Not bad for a train already known for its reliability and efficiency. In 2015, responding to increasing passenger numbers, C2C reconfigured some of the units into a high-capacity metro layout. That meant fewer seats, down to 222 per set, but more space for standing passengers during the rush hour crush. And they've worked hard. Between them, the fleet has covered over 150 million miles in service, enough to go to the moon and back more than 300 times. Today, these units remain in daily service on the C2C network. You'll see them operating out of London Fenchurch Street, stopping at stations like Barking, Basildon and South End Central. They're maintained at Shoebury Nest Depot, right at the eastern edge of the line. Looking ahead, some of the fleet is slowly being supplemented and eventually replaced by the newer Class 720 Aventra units. But don't worry, thanks to a recent £8.8 .8 million contract with Alstom, the 357s are getting a full repaint and corrosion repair programme to keep them running well into the future. The first of these freshly revamped units, 357207, nicknamed John Page, re-entered service in late 2024. So next time you're on the London, Tilbury and South End line, take a moment to appreciate these quiet heroes of the British commuter network. Reliable, energy efficient and still going strong more than two decades after their introduction. And if you enjoyed this trip down the rails with the Class 357, do give us a like, share it with your fellow railway enthusiasts and don't forget to subscribe for more stories from the world of railways. Got a favourite Electrostar unit? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, safe travels.